welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. It is What I Eat Wednesday and I have an entire full day of eating for you. Everything that I ate today, a little day in the life, lots of hauls, some dogs, just a good time overall. I even went to the WW workshop this morning. It is Sunday actually when I'm filming and learned all about the new program. If you have not seen that video, it is up on my YouTube channel. Definitely check it out. I go into detail about the new programs. So if you want to see what I eat in a day to lose weight on WW Freestyle the Blue Plan for now, stay tuned. machine you saw me make my coffee in it you guys I'm so incredibly excited about this I have wanted one of these for so long but I just didn't want to spend the money so I kept hemming and hawing I love my Nespresso Virtuo but the pods get pretty pricey so I figured I am going to buy this espresso machine with some of the money from my closing on my home that I sold because it's a little reward for myself for my hard work and I'll be saving money in the long run with espresso beans versus pods. So I picked up the Breville Barista Express. It comes in chrome or this black in chrome. It is about $600, but if you are someone that buys coffee every day, you will be paying for this machine in no time. So I wanna show it to you guys kinda of up close and personal. I am gonna link it in my Amazon store if you're interested. I'll link the chrome and the black. I bought the black just because it goes a little bit better with my kitchen decor, but let's take a look at it. So it comes with the hopper where you add your beans. This levels out your espresso before you actually pull your shots. It has this nice tray on top if you wanna put your coffee cups. Here's all your buttons, your power. You can do a single or a double shot. You can adjust the grind. This measures the pump pressure. And then over here, you can program it. You can do a single and a double shot. You clean it, of course. You can pull just hot water if you wanted to make tea. So that's amazing. On the back here, here is the water holder and there is a filter in there as well. I always only use bottled water in mine anyways, but still I put the filter in. You can adjust your grind to coarser or finer based on how your shots of espresso are pulling. So those of you that may not know, I owned coffee shops for about 12 years. So I'm really excited to have a home espresso machine. I'm very familiar with the grind and what it should look like, the amount of crema that should be on your shot. So this thing makes a beautiful shot of espresso. And then of course you have your portafilter and then this is where you pull your coffee. So you just push and it automatically freshly grinds your coffee from your hopper. So that is awesome. And then this is where you put the portafilter to actually pull your shot of espresso or shots of espresso. So you can do a single, so this is to clean it and then that is a single shot and a double shot and I currently have a double shot in my filter here it came with the tamp you always want to push down on your grinds and flatten those out make them nice and even and then that's also where this comes in because you kind of spin it and make your grinds nice and even before you pull your shots there is a wand here to steam milk so you can make a hot latte and it even came with a cute little Breville pitcher to steam your milk. So you guys, I'm literally in love, 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 love. I sold my virtual machine and that just kind of helped pay for this one. But if you're looking for a great home espresso machine, highly recommend. So here is my breakfast for this morning. So I went ahead and made my breakfast sandwich that I made last week in meal prep. I'm obsessed with this, you guys, it's so good. It is so filling. So I have two slices of the Trader Joe's sprouted wheat sourdough bread. I have two eggs with one smart point of the Trader Joe's light shredded mozzarella, or I'm light shredded Mexican blend. And then under there, I have one smart point worth of avocado. 
then I make this into a delicious kind of grilled cheese textured breakfast sandwich. So good, so filling, one of my very favorite things. And then I'm also having one of my red pears. I'm almost out, I think I have one left from Costco. So the breakfast sandwich is only six smart points. So it's four points for the two slices of the Trader Joe's bread, one point for the cheese and one point for the avocado. So this is my six smart point breakfast and I cannot wait. I wanted to show you just a couple things I picked up at at home. I don't care for that store as much as Home Goods, CJ Maxx, Ross, but I did find a couple of cute things. So first I got this really cute things to do and it is glass but you can write on it so there is all seven days of the week on there and a little notes tab i just thought that it was really cute i'm gonna hang it on the wall in my office and it was 29.99 and it's pretty darn good sized i also got this cute little placemat it was in the halloween section so it was only a dollar 99 I use these a lot when I'm filming. Sometimes I'll use it as like a base for decor. So I may use it in my office, I'm not sure yet. And then I got a new garbage can as well for my office. I love this kind of burlap, sparkly black and silver garbage can um, and it's just plastic. And it was $7.99. So those are just the few things I picked up at At Home. So here is my haul from Ross. I actually just went to look for a couple of things for my office and some new silverware. So here's what I picked up. These were on clearance for $2.50. This is the best glass cleaner. Hands down the best glass cleaner. They had two of them. So I picked them up. It is Hope's Perfect Glass. Literally, you guys, it does not streak at all. And $2.50 is a fabulous price. So I grabbed the two that they had on hand. Also, I found this Organic Agave 5, so it's only five calories, and it had really good ingredients, so it's water, organic agave, xanthan gum, organic stevia, citric acid, and monk fruit. So I thought this would be a good sweetener alternative if you're looking for something like honey or maple syrup, so it was a pretty good price for $4.49, so I picked that up just to have it on hand. It's baking season, so I'm sure that I will be using this quite regularly. And I did find some new silverware. I'm not, I don't really care about the tray. The only thing I was thinking for the tray is it would be great to use it on the holidays just to put the silverware in there rather than just kind of laying them out on the counter or the table. So it came with it and this is some really nice stainless steel silverware. It is a 60 piece set and it was $39.99. So not a bad price. Mine are just old. A bunch of mine ended up getting chewed up in the garbage disposal. They're scratched, they're just icky. So it was time for some new um, flatware. So I picked up this really cute set at Ross. And then I got these candle holders and these you guys are so pretty. So they were all on clearance for $5.49, both the candle holders. And it's this really pretty silvery, black glass and it just matches so perfectly with the decor in my office so then i found these cute fresh linen white candles to go with them and the candles were on sale for 350 so each one of these glass holders was 550 and then the candles were 350 so i just thought this will be really really cute in my office totally goes with the decor and then of course i saw these these are really cute christmas gift bags thought that they were absolutely adorable. So I had to pick those up and it was a set of four for $2.99. You can't beat that. That's basically 50 cents a gift bag, cheaper than even the Dollar Tree. So that's everything that I picked up at Ross. So I'm going to be having my normal snack, which is a peanut butter built bar. I love the built bar, as you know, and I have been loving the peanut butter. So let me tell you a little bit about built bars. These are not your everyday mama's protein bar. These literally taste like a candy bar, but they are packed full of protein and fiber to keep you full, but they taste amazing. There is no protein aftertaste, no chalkiness, nothing. It is just absolute delight. It is literally like a candy bar. The peanut butter one is four smart points. All of the rest of the Built Bar flavors are three smart points. The peanut butter is made with organic peanut butter and also has little chips of peanuts. So that is why it is one smart point more. But I am a big advocate of I will pay one smart point any day of the week for extra peanuts and peanut butter. So 
I'm okay with the four Smart Points, but just remember, every other Built Bar flavor is only three. Here are your nutritional information. So the peanut butter is 170 calories, 20 grams of protein, seven fiber, three sugar, and seven fat. You guys, I'm telling you, these are so good. So this is my four Smart Point snack. If you're interested in Built Bar, my code is here on the screen. It will give you 10% off and free shipping. Also, down in the description box is a link. If you click the link, it will automatically apply the free shipping and 10% off, but save the code because you can use it over and over again. It is a reusable code. So when you run out, you can stock up and save the 10% and free shipping. So. This, my friends, is my morning snack. Well, hi. Did you get all cozy? Did Daddy get you cozy this morning? He says you haven't moved for a long time. Yeah, you're all bundled up. Aren't you, baby? Hey, what you doing? What you doing, bud? Hi, bud. Diesel, look at Mama. Hey. Hi. Oh, yes, a good boy. You get scratches. Yeah, you get scratches. Get your baby. Show Mommy. Show me. Oh yeah, get it, get it. Lola, get the baby. No, you don't want it. Oh, Diesel. Ooh, you're vicious today. Get it, get it. So here is my lunch for today. I am so excited. So I have one of my California turkey wraps that I made in meal prep. This is a total of four smart points. It is made on a tomato basil Olay Extreme Wellness Wrap with two slices of center cut bacon, mayo, avocado, tomato, and lettuce. This deliciousness is only four points. I also have some raspberries for zero. And then I'm going to have one of these little bags. These are from Halloween. This is the hip peas and this is the white cheddar and these are two smart points. So this entire lunch, six smart points. So here is my haul from TJ Maxx. So I went for a few more things for the office as well as the redecorating of the bathroom and the spare bedroom. I found quite a few fun things this trip. So I found this cute little birch covered or bark covered container. Now you can put a candle in there. It has this cute little handle that looks like sticks. I thought it was really, really cute. So I don't know if it'll go in the spare bedroom or in the bathroom, but it was only $4.99. So I just couldn't pass it up. I just think it's adorable. You can even fill it with pine cones, flowers. It's super, super cute. And I also found this birch bark candle. And I thought that again, this was super cute. I don't know which room we will put this in, but it'll be a nice decor piece for one of the rooms. And it was $6.99. So I couldn't pass that up. And then this I thought was adorable. It just has some trees with a cute little wooden base on it. I don't know if it's for candles or what exactly it's for, but it was super cute and it was $4.99. So that will be used in one of the rooms. And then also I found this artificial plant in this kind of rustic wood container. I love these just for some greenery and this was $4.99. So all four of these things will be used in either the spare room or bathroom that we're kind of redecorating in a lodge style. So I'll do some before and after video and show you guys kind of what we had before and what we moved into. And then for my office, I found this cute little handcrafted in India. It's just a galvanized metal container with a lid. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it. I don't know if I'll just have it on display or if I'll put something in there, store something in there, like my business cards. I'm not 100% sure yet, but it is so cute and it was $6.99 and it just really goes with the aesthetic of my new office. And then I also found this really cute little basket and it's just a gray metal with a kind of cream colored liner with these cute little chrome buttons. I just thought that it was really, really cute and it was really inexpensive. Also, it was, oh, $5.99. And so it's either gonna go on my bookshelf or on one of the shelves in my office. I have that scarf wine night at my real estate office coming up. So I grabbed this cute little gift bag and it even came with the tissue paper. And I it says, you're gonna love it. And I just thought that would be cute since it's not really a Christmas event. I didn't wanna go with a Christmas gift bag. And this was $1.49, including the tissue. I got these great little clips. They are magnetic, but I won't put them on my fridge. I'm just gonna throw them in my drawer. But this is just a clip closed bag. So I really liked these and these were only $2.99. They're nice, good quality. They're from Core 
cookware and I just thought that that was a great deal for that. And then I found this cute little shirt. It has kind of a bell sleeve with these cute little buttons, kind of open buttons down the side. It was on clearance for $12, and it is long sleeved, so it'll be really cute with some leggings and boots for winter. And then this was also on clearance. It is a junk drawer organizer. I need this. My junk drawer is a huge mess. I think it's on clearance because it's a little bit bubbled out and damaged right there but i didn't care it was on clearance for five dollars and fifty cents so basically it's a made smart junk drawer organizer so i'm just going to use this in the drawer in my kitchen because it is literally full of junk so this will make it a little bit more nice looking and then lastly i had to pick this up because this is my all-time favorite skinny syrup I love this flavor so much. This is the glazed donut. It is so good. So good. So I had to pick that up and that was $3.99. So that's everything that I picked up on this trip to TJ Maxx. So here is my afternoon snack. I'm going to have my Siggy's vanilla yogurt. I really like this yogurt. It is so good. And this yogurt, if it'll focus, there we go, is three smart points. So I'm going to have that and I'm just going to pair that with a light string cheese. So this is going to be my four smart point snack. I have a little Ross haul and then two things I got at Trader Joe's. So first I'm going to show you my little Ross haul. I went there primarily to buy a set of sheets for our spare bedroom. I will show you what that looks like once it is done. But we are changing it from the decor that it currently has into more of a lodgy style. So I wanted black sheets that matched the comforter. So it's got four pillowcases, a flat and a fitted sheet, and it was $17.99. I also needed a candle for that cute little lantern that I picked up at Home Goods, and this smells amazing, by the way. And it, it was three ninety nine. Clementine spice, yeah, yum. And then you guys, look at these cute little Christmas things that I found. So this is an easel. It is so cute. One side says cookies with Santa. And then the other side says Christmas blend hot cocoa served here. And it has this cute little string that attaches the two pieces of the easel. I'm in love. It was $7.99. I had to get it. I'm going to be putting it into my office. And then I also had to pick this up. It says Merry Christmas with the red truck. And I don't know if you can see, but these are actual lights. So it just needs a battery and those will actually light up. So it'll look like a lighted Christmas tree on top of the red truck. And this was $4.99. So I couldn't pass it up. It's so cute. It's got that farmhouse rustic look that I wanted in my office. And then also for my office, I picked this up and it is gorgeous. It is two metal bins. So I want this for paper. I'm going to hang this by my desk in my office. I love it. It has that rustic look to it. It's got the burlap strings and it was $22.99. So that's everything that I actually picked up at Ross. Ross is right next door to Trader Joe's. So I ran over because I saw these on Katie Hespie's channel. She does a lot of Trader Joe's hauls. So I always watch them. You guys, how fun. This is the Trader Joe's advent calendar for dogs, salmon and sweet potato dog treats. And they get a new treat every day throughout the month of December. And they are all salmon and sweet potato. I'm so excited how fun is that and it was $5.99 it's great it doesn't have any chicken or grain so it's awesome for my dogs I couldn't pass it up so I picked up two one for diesel and one for Lola so they are going to get in the Christmas spirit as well so that's my little bit from Trader Joe's and my little haul from Ross so don't let me go now the love is my dessert tonight I decided to have one of the smart baking co's smart muffins and pumpkin spice you guys these are outstanding these are from the same company that makes the smart cake and the smart bun and these are literally to die for I love the pumpkin spice it tastes better than a full fat pumpkin muffin and you guys this entire muffin is only two smart points i keep these in the freezer and then i just warm them up in the microwave for about a minute or so just to get them nice and warm and they are soft and delicious so this is what i'm going to be having 
for my dessert. If you're interested in ordering the Smart Muffins, Smart Cakes, or Smart Buns, you can use my code here on the screen. It'll give you 10% off of your order. So definitely go check out Smart Baking Company. There's a link down in the description box as well. So I'm gonna have the pumpkin spice muffin for two smart points. Thank you for joining me on this What I Eat in a Day to Lose Weight on WW. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the hauls. I am having so much fun redecorating my home. I'm gonna be doing a home and office tour once everything is done, so definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, everything is down in the description box, including any recipes, discount codes, links, everything for today's video is down in the description box. So definitely check that out. If you're new, welcome over to Jen's WW Journey. I have a fantastic community and we would love to have you be part of it. So hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified whenever I upload. Thumbs up this video, it matters a ton to my channel and I really appreciate it. And of course, leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought of this What I Eat in a Day. Thank you guys for coming along with me today and I'll see you in my next video.